टू द कोर्ट हाउस दिस इज एमेजॉन दिस कॉल इज टू ऑथोराइज द पेमेंट ऑफ वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड नाइंटी नाइन डॉलर फॉर द रिसेंट ऑर्डर ऑफ एपल मैक बुक प्रो ऑन यूर एमेजॉन अकाउंट इफ यू डू नॉट ऑथोराइज दिस पेमेंट प्लीज प्रेस वन टू स्पीक टू आर Thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. How can I help you? I got a call that somebody ordered an iMac. I'm iMac Apple at Mac something iMac uh, for fourteen hundred dollars. I said to okay, press so one. I said to press one if I didn't order it. So I pressed one. I didn't order it. Okay, so can you help me out with your name so that I can pull out your information? Yeah, my first system. name is Clint. C L I N T. Well, his name's Torres. T O R E S. Okay, and what's your last name, sir? Torres. T O R R E S. Clint Torres. And your zip code, sir? One three one one eight. Okay, give me a quick moment. Let me go ahead and pull out your information in my system, okay? Sir? Okay, okay. Just can hold okay, for a moment. Okay, okay. Okay. Are you there, sir? Yeah, I'm here. Well, thank you for patiently holding the line, sir. I I can see here that there was a pre-authorized order of Apple MacBook Pro. The That's what the said. That's what the thing said. Yeah. I didn't order it. Fourteen hundred ninety-nine dollar, and it will be delivered to you by tomorrow. I don't want it. Place. Cancel it. I don't want it. It's not mine. I didn't okay. order it. Okay. So in this case, I have to run a full security check on your account. Okay. So please stay connected while I go ahead. And run a full security check on your account, all right, sir? Okay. How long is this going to take? It won't take much of your time. Okay. Please stay hold for a minute. Okay. 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 How are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm here. Well, thank you for patiently holding the line. Okay. As I can see in my system, there was a uh, the, your Amazon account was accessed from a different location as well as devices. Your account was. Access from Ohio, Texas, and California, and fraudulent activities have been done on your account. So, can you tell me how you ever lost your wallet or your identity, or do you remember someone broke to your house in Perth? Somebody came to my house. A lot of people come to my house. I don't, I don't know what no, you mean. I say, have you ever lost your wallet or your identity, or do you remember someone broke? To your house in Paris. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I never lost you anything. Lo okay. Okay, sir. So, sir, so, uh, I tried to cancel those transactions. I've been able to do that because, as I told you, it is a pre-authorized. Well, I didn't authorize it. How can I pre-authorize okay, something I didn't authorize? I don't get it. Okay, so, so, but for but you, what I can do is, okay. I will. I will connect your call to the banker. Only they can help you out with this issue. If you help me out with the name of your bank, I bank, will transfer bank your Bank of America. To... Okay, now I'm connecting huh? your call to to your bank. bank you can have a work with them. Okay. Regarding you, you your transition. Okay. All right. Tell them. Tell them not to I'll tell them. transition without okay. your knowledge. I'll okay, tell them to cancel. Okay. You stay connected while I connect your call to your bank. Okay, to good. my bank. Okay, good. You have reached out the fraud prevention department of Bank of America. This is Officer William Black. How can I help you? I don't know. Uh, Amazon connected me to you because somebody mm -hmm. ordered an iMac Pro with my account, but I don't. I didn't. I didn't do it. And they connected me to you, so I could report it to you, so you can cancel it, and not pay it. I guess. Oh, all right. So you're telling okay. me that you have an unauthorized charges put under your name yes, on Amazon? Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes. All right. Uh, can you tell me what exactly is the amount? Fourteen hundred and something. Fourteen hundred dollar. All right. Not a problem. Uh, okay. Since your call has been connected, yeah. Since your call has been yeah. connected with me, I'll be try to go okay. ahead and look into your matter okay. and try to schedule. Myself, yeah, right? yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, but before I go, I haven't okay. taken the, your banking information for yeah. the customer verification. Can you help me out with your first name and your last name? Clint, C-L-I-N-T, first name, last name Torres, T-O-R-R-E-S, Clint Torres. Oh, Clint Torres. And as well, can you just verify me your date of birth? 316.50. 316.1950, right? Yes. All right. 
And um, Mr. Torres, can you just let me know what type of account do you hold with us? Is it a checking saving or do you have both? Yeah, both. You have both. All right, Mr. Torres, I just want you to stay connected with me. Uh, let okay. me try to pull up your account details. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Torres, thank yeah. you so much for holding the line. Okay. So, Mr. Torres, you were telling me that uh, for your statement, the unauthorized charge was for an amount of 1400 right? Right, yes. All right, Mr. Torres. Uh, so you're going to send me a new card? One. What are you doing? Do you send me a new card yeah. because somebody used mine? Yeah. yeah, first of all, let's go ahead and let's try to get rid of this problem, all right? Okay. Usually you just send me, Okay, but... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll let you what's needed to be done. Okay. So, Mr. Torres, we just want to make sure that nothing has been taken out from your account and nothing has been debited from your account and everything is your as it is. Okay. And for that purpose, can you just let me know what is the available balance that you know in your checking account? I don't know. I'd have to look. Yeah, just go ahead and just pull up your statement if you have any. I'll be holding the line for you. We okay. just want to make sure that nothing has been taken out. Okay, I got it. All right. I'm in my uh, savings, I got 2,463. Yeah, in my checking, I got 2,322.56. And, 56. and uh, Visa Cash Rewards, I got 3,500. All right. It, it's a Visa Cash Reward, right? Right. Uh, what's that amount? 3502 Point thirty-three. I didn't realize I had that much. Uh -huh. It's around uh, three thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, right? yeah. And um, Mr. Torres, I would like to ask you one thing: like, do you have any kind of futures investment, like an IRA? Nah. Or money marketing? Nah, I ain't got none of this stuff. All right, not a problem. Now let me. Uh, and as well, uh, Mr. Torres, can you help me out with your last transaction? And what was the amount? Let me look. Three twenty one twenty six forty three for I don't know what it was for. And just the last particular transaction and the amount that you have. I got the confirmation number if you want that. Okay, uh, like if you can pull up your last transaction, not a problem. We can proceed ahead uh, yeah, with that. So we can uh, yeah, it was, it was for twenty six dollars and forty three cents. Don't you have this on your end? No, I'm just confirming it from your end because we oh, want okay. to make sure. We, uh, okay, well, it's 26.43. All right. Now, it just stay connected with me. All right, let me try to go ahead and analyze your account as well. Let's okay. see what's yeah. going on. Yeah, because it was see if you'd have it, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just give me a moment, all right? Okay. I just want you to stay connected with me. It will take a few seconds or uh, one okay. or two minutes. Okay. All right, now, Mr. Torius, as I'm just analyzing your account, can you just let me know, like, is there anyone apart from you who have access to your banking details or your banking information? No. You handle it all by yourself, right? Y yeah. Yeah, all by myself. And, all right. And was there any moment or do you, do you recall any moment where you might have misplaced or lost any kind of your personal information? No. Not that you know of? No. Yes, because uh, as per your statement, your last transaction was for an amount of $26.43. Yeah. Am I correct? Yes, yeah, so Mr. Uh, Torres here, I would like to ask you, have you been uh, doing some business with some overseas countries with a company called Global BLC Support? No, never heard of them. Never heard of that, right? No, never heard of it, no. Well, the reason why I'm asking you is this because okay. I'm just going through your transaction uh -huh. history and I can see that there are okay. multiple transactions detected where money has been transacted or debited from your account and sent to this particular company called... Oh, it's not Global showing up on my end. And uh, this, is, this particular transaction has been marked as overseas transaction, which means your money, there has been money sent from your account to some overseas countries to overseas company called Global BLC Support. No, I didn't do that either. You have no clue about this, and you have no, never so made any that transaction. Too. Yeah, to cancel it. Why don't you just give me a new account? Why don't I just go to a different bank? Because apparently you guys are just giving my money away. All right. In that case, uh, Mr. Torrey, the best thing that I can do for you right now, or the least that I can do for you right now, is in order for us to go ahead and safeguard your funds, your assets, and your personal information, and to cancel this transaction. Uh, would you, if I have your consent, I can file a case on your behalf for the further investigation, all right? Yeah, do that. All right. So I have your consent so I can file a case on your behalf, yeah, right, Mr. Torres? Yeah. 
Okay, in that case, Mr. Doris, I just want you to stay connected with me because I'm going to oh. start working on your paperwork, all right? Okay. And as I'm just working on your paperwork, like, I, w I would like to ask you one thing, like, have you ever heard about the FTC, which stands for Federal Trade Commission? Yeah, I've heard of them, yes. This Federal Trade Commission or the FTC, Trade they Commission. are the highest. Yes. Do the yes. what? Yeah, we both, yes, we both know that they are the highest officials or the authorities in the United States. They are the highest? Who handle I didn't such, know that. Okay. Yes. Who handle such criminal cases such as money laundering, truck trafficking, identity theft, and the other officials okay. who monitor right, legal, good. international, or yeah, overseas okay. transaction, all right? All right. Yeah, once I'm done working on your paperwork, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand over this case to the FTC department okay. so that they can safeguard your funds, your assets, and your personal information. Okay, so that good. Okay. You, yes, you don't get charged yeah, don't for any unnecessary. Yeah, okay. As well as right. you don't have the best problem, all right? Okay. Yes, so, uh, Mr. Torres, in order for me to complete your paperwork, I'll be need needing some more details because the FTC officers will be needing more details to work on your case. And I can see that you're holding a debit card under your name, right? Yeah. Yes, I need to verify your card as well. Can you just help me with the last four digits of your card? Because I need to mention all these details in your paperwork. Last four, 7960. 7960. And as well, I need to mention some more details. Can you just help me with your uh, social security? Yeah, 0861014163. It's zero eight six one zero. One four six three. All right. It's let me repeat that once again. It's zero eight six one zero one four six three. Am I correct? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for the information. I have uh, noted down all this information in your paperwork. Now, Mr. Okay. Torres, I just want you to stay connected with me. Let me check in with the FTC department regarding uh, uh, about this case. Okay. All right. Okay. How long is this going to take? Yeah. It's not going to take much long. It's going to take a few minutes, like a one or two minutes or a few seconds. All okay. right. Okay. All right. Not a problem. Right, Mr. Torres. Yeah. Yeah, I have just hand, I have just had a word with the FTC department, and I have what handed over this case to them. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, so I upset. just want you to stay con. Yes, I just want you to stay connected with me because they have uh, they are ready to take up this case since it's a case of illegal activities and fraudulent activities with under your name. So, just stay connected with me. Like one of the officer will take over this call from here shortly. All right. Officer from where? The FTC. Uh, yes, that's correct. Officer from the FTC department will take over this call shortly, so I want you to have a healthy conversation with them and a cooperate healthy, with okay, them so I'll that you can have a healthy conversation. Yes. With them. Okay. Put them on. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. I got to get going uh, here. All right. I wish you all the best. Okay. Your call has been connected to the Federal Trade Commission. This is Officer Jenny Anderson. Hi, Ms. Clunt. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, but I'm being transferred all over the place here. I don't know what's going on. Do you? I will say the reason your call has been connected with us from your bank because there is some activity which was sent from your bank account. So that is the reason your call has been connected to us in order to solve your issue. Okay, well, let's solve it. Uh, what is the problem, sir, that you are having? Can you just give me a brief explanation what exactly went wrong? Didn't and they what exactly tell you? you I've explained this to three different people. Didn't they tell you? Well, I just got an update that your personal information was been compromised by someone. And someone is misusing your identity to do any kind of transaction from right. your bank account. That is a problem, right? Right. You got it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So the reason I was asking you, because also I want you to know, like, do you came to understand what exactly does they told you and what does they explain you? That is the reason I was asking you, Mr. Quint. Yeah, yeah. Quint. Yeah. Somebody, somebody used my 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 crunchels to uh, buy an iPad or MacBook or something for $1,400. That is not only an issue. Well, uh, Mr. Clint, that is not only an issue. Apart from that, there is something more which I want you to know. Now, I will let you know what exactly happened with your bank account, that your bank account is used to support the child pornography as well as for the, the money. The child laundry. what? The child what? I will let you know once again. Your bank account yeah. is used to support money laundering and also for the child pornography under what? the name of company plc support so clint do you know anything about plc support no like by knowingly or unknowingly have you did any transaction to plc support no no okay so now what i want you to know firstly what is plc support plc yeah, support is as it? an illegal company plc yeah. support is an yeah. illegal, illegal company, company which what? is if it is not located in the United States itself, it is a Chinese-based company which is located in China. 
they are the company who is supporting for doing the money laundering and also supporting for the child pornography and for that company that I don't even know what that is I will let you know what exactly went okay. wrong nothing to worry about it okay all right all right so as I told there was a huge transaction which was run from your bank account for up to 20 to 50 thousand dollars I don't even have twenty thousand yes. dollars in there how could they take twenty thousand out if I don't have it let me complete sir okay, let me complete, complete and you com can go ahead okay go ahead okay so there are several account which has been under your name and your identity so do you have any idea about it like that you know anything about it that your no, information is I don't know anything about it I don't know I got a phone call from Amazon all of a sudden I'm talking to the FTC and you're talking about all this mm -hmm. illegal stuff I don't know what's going on here okay so firstly I want you to know what exactly is been there there is something which is done from your bank account which is done from your identity and for now you are a primary suspect for this kind of criminal act I'm a suspect how did I get to be a suspect firstly Mr. Clint do you know with whom you are speaking right now and what is the Federal no. Trade Commission I want to know how I became a suspect I will let you know because before we going ahead I want you to know what exactly the, uh, what is exactly the Federal Trade Commission is if I'm a suspect, I think I ought to call my lawyer. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I was making you understand what needs to be done further. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So now, as I told, there was a huge transaction which was done from your bank account for up to twenty to $50,000. Okay. okay. And I don't have now, that much money. Uh-huh. Let me complete. You might be okay, not aware about it. From your information, right. there are some I don't more know anything about it. Let's... No, let me complete. Oh, go ahead. Please do not That's what she said. Again and again. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now, as was a transaction okay. which was done from your account, and this go is ahead. not only one bank account which is under your name, because we can identify there are several more bank account which is under your name and your identity. From those account, the transaction was done. I do understand that your information was been compromised by someone, or else someone is misusing your identity for doing such kind of criminal activity. So I just want to ask you, have right. you ever used any kind of a public Wi-Fi in the past? No. No. And have you ever lost any kind of personal information in the past, like your debit credit card number, social security number, or any account number or writing number, any such information in the past? No. No. So there is a high possibility that your information was been compromised by someone through any way, but your information is been because we have noticed that you was not aware about these things, what exactly is been happening over here, right? Right, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, because we have made a cross verification okay. over here and we have found there is not any kind of legal uh, criminal activity against you in the past for any support. Oh, and the pastor was, well, yeah, and the pastor was, but it was a little mess, but it was no big deal. It, it, I was making some mess, but that was, I was young, and I started a little fire in the garage. Blew I'm up, not talking. Other than that, yeah, nothing. Out of that, uh, for any money laundering or for any piled pony. Oh, no yeah. money laundering. No, 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 it was all yeah. drug charges. All drug yeah. charges. Yeah, so for that case is... Yeah, well, I, I understand. Young. For that cases or for yeah. any child pornography, for these cases, there are not any no, kind of allegations that. on you in the past. No, no, just drugs. So, for that reason, we are here to help yeah, you out habit. that you should not lose your hard-earned money, Mr. Clint. No, I don't want to so lose. So we are here no. to help you out because so. over here our first priority okay. is to help you and to safeguard your funds and also to prove you as an innocent one in a courthouse that you have not any kind of allegation yeah. and, you, yeah, in the and you have not did any okay. kind of such criminal activity. I, I didn't do anything. Okay. okay. So before proceeding, so we're all so set? Before proceeding I can provide... Oh, we got more. So what exactly like you want to do? Okay. You want to are you willing to cooperate with us or like you can go ahead and hire a lawyer for yourself and you have to fight but Why well, I don't want to have to pay for a lawyer. What have I got to do? You just tell me what I got to do. What have I got to do? Enough for that as well. Well, please do. But now I can provide you with two options. The first one as you told that you are not willing to pay okay. for your lawyer. So that was the first option where and you can go ahead and hire a lawyer for yourself. And which 
Okay, first option's out. What's the second option? The second option? one that you have to cooperate with us for upcoming two to three hours from now, and we will be guiding you. Two to three hours? I'm not cooperating for two or three hours. That's Come on. That's completely fine for us because that this is not making any profit for me. You will lose out whole of your funds because under the investigation of the Federal Bureau, all of the funds will be seized and every of the funds which is remaining in your account will be under the investigation and for upcoming 45 days. So if that is okay for you, then that is completely fine for us that you are not willing. No, I don't want to... What have I got to do? What have I got to do? You have to cooperate with us, and we will be guiding what you need. Okay, cooperate. What do you want me to do to cooperate? That's what I'm trying to get out of you. I don't want you to be rude, and I don't want myself also to be rude. I, I can't help being rude. You're jerking me around here. Just tell I'm, me what you well, want I me to see, do. I'm having a word with you, but still you are having a jerk on me, and having a word with me very rudely. I cannot tolerate this kind of thing. I can't help it. I'm trying to get this over with, and you keep on scratching it out. I have to let you know what exactly went wrong over you before. Okay, I figured it out, okay? Somebody used my thing, and now you want me to cooperate. I'm going to cooperate. What do you okay. want me to do? So before proceeding, there are some conditions with it which is attached with your option that you are willing to cooperate. Okay. So first, that as you give in your okay. words that you are willing to cooperate, I need to send a, a copy yeah, of this recording to the courthouse show that that yeah. you are willing to okay so this is the code okay so i want you to yeah. be on the line let yeah. me just go ahead and send a copy of this recording that you are willing to break. okay hurry up please hurry yeah, up please. please stay connected all right mr clint you with me yes yes Hello? can you hear me yeah all right so now we will proceed further what needs to be done over here as i told our first priority is to safeguard your funds and also to prove you as the innocent in the courthouse that you have not did any kind of such criminal activity firstly i want you to like right now i want you to like go ahead and take out all the money from your account and keep it safe with you okay so that the money if should not take all the yeah, money out safe with you and for further i will let you know what am i gonna do with what it you, what you will do with your money let me know you let me know why you are saving this money what you are asking me what i will do with this money so you tell me why you save this money then what I, I kept it in the bank to save it. I mean, I didn't put it in the bank to take mm -hmm. it out. What am I going to do with it once I take yeah, it so out? That as well, you need to keep your money under your identity, under the government surveillance by yourself. So it means that only you are the one who have the access of your own money. So this will prove as in that you was, have put your money under the government surveillance, as in that no one should go ahead and take out your money. So for that reason, like for now, that is, right now your all the information is been compromised. So for that reason, we are going ahead and firstly safeguarding your funds. So I want you to get ready okay. and move to your bank right now. So how much time would you take to reach to your bank from your location? Why would I go? I, I don't know. Couple minutes. Couple of minutes. So I want you to get ready with your stuff like your credit or the debit card, whatever that you have with you, and make sure you carry any identity with yourself. And do you have a car to drive? Okay. Yeah. So I'll hold the line for you till that time. I want you to get ready and drive to your bank. And then once you are in the parking of your bank, just let me know. Okay. okay? How long will it take? It could take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Well, I gotta go to my car first. Okay. I'll hold the line for you. Eleven minutes later. Hello? Hello. Okay, I'm at the you bank. You are at the bank so soon? Well, it's only down the street, yeah. yeah. Can you send me a picture like where exactly you are? A picture? No, I can't. How can I send you From your cell phone. I will send you a hi on your regarding cell phone number. Just send me a picture where are you right now. Because I'm I, unable to identify where exactly you are. 
you are again. What do you mean? What do you got to identify where I am for? I told you where I'm at. I'm at the fucking bank. I can see you over here. You were not over there. You were still on the same location. You can't see where I, I am, you scam and run bitch. I can see. And before telling anything to me... No, you can't I, see. You're in fucking India, you dumb I fuck. I am not. How can you see where I am in America? I am. Uh, what do you got? Your own fucking satellite, I'll you let asshole? You know. I'll let you know, you nigga. Listen to me. I'll let you know why I'm talking to you. You rundy. You rundy bitch. Your mother was that, you know? Your mother came and she asked my bro brother to come and suck her pussy, you know? And your mother came and asked to... Oh, really? She did? Well, that's odd because you're such a fucking rundy. What is that? What does it mean? What, what, what does it mean? Well, what does it mean? You don't know what it means? Mother was asking not to fuck her in her ass. Mother. Hey, asshole. Mother was asking. Hey, asshole. She hung up. Uh, she finally hung up. What the fuck? I didn't think it.